Drug overdose deaths are still a major problem in Hamilton County. And indeed, that is why law enforcers and medical experts are doubling down on ways to bring those numbers down. Nine on your side's Tom McKee found the effort is a three pronged approach. There were 403 drug overdose deaths in Hamilton County in 2016, but last year it spiked 25% to 529. Hamilton County Coroner Dr. Laxmi Samarco says that's scary and frustrating, but that's not stopping members from the Hamilton County Heroin Coalition from moving forward on trying to find solutions. Coalition members say most of the deaths involve a blend of heroin and fentanyl, but... We are seeing a lot of different mixtures, both from an opiate cocaine, methamphetamine mixtures, as well as the Benadryls and the caffeines and things like that out there that you don't consider drugs uh, being mixed in. Going after the drug dealers is job one for law enforcers. That's why a new team of federal drug agents is coming to Cincinnati to work. These Mexican groups have identified Cincinnati as a you know, significant distribution point, uh, the greater Cincinnati area. Uh, you know, we need the resources and, and I'm glad DEA recognized that we needed them. The next phase is treatment, getting addicts out of jail and into treatment centers. Coalition members are eyeing the new Sun Behavioral Health Treatment Center in Northern Kentucky as an example. It was developed in partnership with St. Elizabeth Healthcare. I mean, that's a huge commitment from a hospital to do that. I mean, it's a huge building that's going to be able to help thousands of people a year. I think we need that here. The third part of the plan is getting citizens to help with preventing addiction in the first place. Resources are stretched thin right now to do it all, but the coalition continues to find new projects. Quick response teams, we're talking about treatment pod in jail, we're talking about pre-arrest diversion, civil commitment, we're working on all these things that we're trying to connect people. We One interesting note here from Dr. Samarco, she says the overdose death toll would have been two or three times higher than 529 had it not been for the fact that Narcan is available for so many first responders in Hamilton County. Tom McKee, 9 on your side, Coryville.